Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with another review. And today, we're finishing up our look, for the time being, at Legacy United Wave 1 with Animated Universe Bumblebee. So, I do find it funny that, even though there were no Generation 1 figures in the first Wave of United, we did get, uh, as always, an Optimus Prime and a Bumblebee this time from Animated. Um, and we're looking at Bumblebee, and let me just tell you right now, this figure is tiny. The vehicle mode, tiny. Um, this is actually, I would say, smaller than Deluxe Class Earthrise Cliff Jumper. Remember when that figure was released? And oh, and hey, the, the, uh, the, the, the Walmart Bumblebee, the Volkswagen. Yeah, smaller than that. I'm not sure, but remember there was that Hydro Dive Bumblebee? I think it was a Japanese exclusive. Um, and it came with a new mold Bumblebee that was more in scale. I think this is that size. Um, so yeah, there's that. And before I forget, one thing I haven't mentioned, the packaging for United. While it keeps the overall look of Legacy, there have been some changes. Number one, uh, at least on the Deluxe and Voyager scale, the cardboard on the packaging is much thicker, almost like a corrugated cardboard. There is still no windows. Uh, they haven't put those back in yet. But they have replaced the paper ties for the plastic ties. To be honest, I kind of wish they would have kept the paper ties as those are a little bit easier to work with. And... They help you store the figure back in the packaging. But I just want to let you know, there are changes coming to the packaging. Now, we're starting off in vehicle mode, and this is a very good approximation of the animated design. In fact, I would say this is the animated design. Um, it was. It, I remember it. I wanted to say it always looked like a little bit like a Scion, which was new at the time. You know, gave it that, like, uh, uh, Volkswagen... Uh, uh, beetle look, but without, you know, trademarks and stuff. Now, one bit of concern I do have to share is, I'm sure as you're noticing, there is quite a bit of clear plastic. Now, I do have to admit, I am impressed by the color matching. I don't see any odd uh, shades of yellow, but it is there. And as always, there's a, a question of if, not when, I mean, sorry, when, not if, uh, things are going to start breaking. These are the accessories that Bumblebee comes with as it falls out of my hand. Um, as you can see, the boosters that the figure originally came with and its stinger, all done in clear plastic. The booster is in a uh, smoked plastic. Good luck finding it if you drop it on, the, on a dark colored carpet. And the stinger is a translucent blue plastic that's been painted over silver. On the original toy, the stingers were actually... Uh, molded into the forearms of the figure that they could flip out. They, for, due to size and limitations, they couldn't do that here. Now, you can store it. Uh, thankfully, they do combine, so you can you don't have to lose accessories or anything, but they do go here, or you can actually have it up front here. Remember, this is a legacy figure, so there is those three to five millimeter ports um, to do... Uh, Combining and what have uh, combining uh, for weapons and things of that nature. So that's that. I mean, the, the figure does roll quite nicely. And as you saw, there's a little bit of underhang here. Uh, not terrible. Uh, it actually, there's plenty of clearance. The wheels roll, they're pinned in. Um, so, yeah, I think, you know, we'll just go ahead and get into the transformation. Now, I want you to know, again, talking about the size, I have my camera zoomed in. Instead of one, I have it at one and a half. So let's see if uh, this will fit into the shot. I know there's been a couple of times I've lifted it up a little too high, but that's just human error. Uh, to start the transformation, what you want to do is come into the back here, split the back, and then flip up this section. This will fold up very nicely. Tabs here will go into slots on the back there. It doesn't really peg in, but it does uh, sit. And then that tab will go into the roof. 
Again, it doesn't really peg, but it does sit. I mean, it holds. And then what you want to do is pull back on the arm, the side panels here, and these will release the arms. And you can just bring them down, just like so. Now, the instructions at this point would have you flip the hands out. I'm going to wait to the end just to uh, show you some stuff. So I think at this point, just for the you know, little space issue, we're going to fold those panels up right there. Uh, bring the arms forward. They're on this double hinge here, so just be aware of that. You fold them out. There you go. Again, we're not, we're not settling anything into place yet. We're just giving us some space. At this point, uh, the windshield uh, has will probably separate from the hood of the car. So just go ahead. And what you want to do is and, and fold this all the way out. And this is going to actually snap into place right here and when going back to vehicle mode make sure you actually fold from that joint you want to unpeg it unsnap it so it folds up at that hinge right where my fingers are and not at the waist rotate it excuse me not at the hips rotate it at the waist let's come in from this side and we're gonna separate the legs <laughs> Just like that. And I got to admit, the leg transformation is really kind of cool. What you want to do now is pop up these panels, get them out of the way, get a finger in there or fingernail, what have you, and flip out those black panels. Um, rotate these panels up, the side panels up. That'll take the wheels with them. Turn the figure over. And now what you want to do is Get your finger in there and flip out what will be the heel. There we go. And, and of course, if you need to, you got the stinger, so you can just lift them out. Um, flip those out. Flip the foot down into position. And now what you're going to do is close up the panels here. Tab, slot. Tab slot. And yeah, you've got the legs. And I really appreciate how those panels form the knee pet kneecaps and all that stuff. So kind of fun. And here I have it sitting. So yeah, this is actually plenty of space to do the transformation. Um next, what you want to do is fold this whole the front uh the windshield and the roof of the car down. That's going to tab clear slot right there, solid tab right there, peg it in. And we can finish bringing the arms up. They do sit a little higher like that. And there is Bumblebee. Now, uh, I'm leaving the arms the way they are because we're gonna go ahead and uh, rotate them forward. Now you can leave these uh, side. You can you can rotate on those inner joints a little, or you can uh, just rotate them completely and use the inner the the shoulder here. And oh, it's a little tricky with the arms because I'm trying to explain. It's like this. I would say is the shoulder, and but the thing is that's really the shoulder too. You actually have a couple sets of joints. So the idea is you want to bring the arms up just like that and i'm going to go ahead and detach the stingers from the boosters and they do peg together and now you'll notice these little posts there's slots there that you can just go ahead pull the arm up and boom there you have the combined stinger and what's really cool is you can actually store the boosters on the back and obviously if the stingers are attached they can store there too now a few things to know number one this is the only way bumblebee can use its stingers unfortunately uh because if we go ahead and separate you'll know you'll see how they peg in on an angle and 
there's and this is the only way you have to have the arms rotated like this to have the clearance for them to fit um this is actually i would almost say a bit of an homage to the original release of the deluxe bumblebee toy from animated because if you remember on that one the um there was like a like a, a mold issue there was like a little extra plastic the stingers could not flip out flat so the, which is kind of sad that you can't do this here because that was part of the figure that he would use the stinger separately but they wouldn't fold out flat so they would always sit at an angle but they could combine now in later releases of the figure they fixed that and i believe on the hydro dive release because they did keep i think they kept the stingers in they fixed it as well so there is that now I'm going to go ahead and remove the stinger so we can really complete the robot mode transformation. Open up the panel here, flip out the hand, close up the panel, rotate it at the elbow, and there you have uh, Bumblebee's fists. And you can see there is no room for them to, to have done like a combined stinger. Now, why we have it here, let me just go here and show you uh, storing the stingers like that but then removing one of the boosters again this is something i don't know if it was shown in oop, done in the show what have you but um you can have combine it like so and it's a handheld weapon so yeah there is that and what's and let me just say yes this figure very small but as you can see fist articulation We've taken a look at the arms and elbows here. The head is on a ball joint, but due to the design, it is a little bit limited. You have the, the waist articulation, ball joint at the hips, swivel. No, actually, it's a universal joint at the hip. Excuse me. Nice 90 degree bend. You do, do you have, you should have a little more ankle pivot than, well, you have a very slight ankle pivot, but you have forward and back movement. So, and hopefully that was all on camera. But yeah, um, I, I, I kind of dig this figure. Uh, I mean, the, the plastic, the clear plastic does concern me. But um, I know for a lot of people, they're going to overlook that just because it is Bumblebee. And animated Bumblebee was a beloved version of the character, which if I'm not mistaken, well, well this was the first animated appearance in America of Bumblebee since the G since the original cartoon. I mean, he, he, the character returned in live action movies and then showed up in animated. But yeah, uh, just a fun figure. The, tra the transformation was very nice, as you saw. Um, relatively simple, but there's some cool stuff. I love how the feet come together and the legs come together. Um, everything locks up tightly. Or tight ish. There is some gapage in vehicle mode, but um, I don't want to get too much into it because we got to pause and come back for my final thoughts. Almost forgot to mention, but what I thought was like a like a scrape in the mold, uh, like an error in the plastic. They did give Bumblebee a, a little smirk there, which apparently is. Indic signature and indicative to the character in the cartoon. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, like I was starting to say, I mean, I like the figure. I know a lot of people are going to have a problem with the size. Uh, especially when you look and it's like, we really didn't have any giant deluxe figures in the wave. And in fact, if you open it up to the Voyager line, which we've, uh, th that's basically all that's been released thus far. I mean, Optimus Prime was, animated Optimus Prime was a little on the small side. Thundertron, I would say it was about average. So it's not like we had like really big figure, like a, a big figure that took up most of the budget and stuff had to be spread out. I do appreciate that there is, you know, a lot of joints and movement here and you can do stuff with the figure but um ultimately I, I i think in terms of parts count 
it's no different than any other deluxe. Uh, and again, that clear plastic really is going to uh, make me worry a little. Um, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I just noticed something. Oh, hot dog. How do you like that? I just noticed this. See that pin? This panel right here. Oh, that clear plastic. That's This is all not clear plastic. Just this section with the light, that that panel is like, um, and of course it's where the arms attach, but that's all, that's a separate piece. That That is uh, just attached. I thought this whole section here was clear plastic. It's not. Wow. That's kind of cool. But, uh, but definitely this front, this is all, this is painted. The chest here is painted. So yeah, sorry about that, folks. I just, uh. You know that 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 impressed me a little to have that uh, that I just noticed it. So, like we saw with animated Optimus Prime, they are they are starting to listen and use the clear plastic as like detailing and not uh, load bearing joints. Although, as I mentioned, the arms here are connected to that panel. So again, it's a question of when, not if, the figure is going to break. Obviously, as I always say, care must be used. But uh, yeah, that's about it. And uh, that's going to be really about it for Legacy United Wave 1. Um, I have no idea when Tirehawk is coming. Megatron is a, parent, a core class Megatron. Unfortunately, I won't be getting it until sometime in January uh, because of the fact that Amazon packed two Tasmania kids in my order instead of one Megatron, one Tasmania kid. So there's that. But, um, I mean, I will try to have stuff going until the end of the week. Um, obviously, Monday's going to be a little... Uh, there's really not going to be anything because it's Christmas Day. Uh, so there's that. But I would, we'll, we'll hopefully have stuff to start the new... You know, start that, like, uh, Christmas week off. But, yeah. Um, let me just mention again, if you're looking for Bumblebee or any of the other Wave 1 United figures, Amazon is, does have them in stock. Whether or not they're going to be shipping them before Christmas, I don't know. But as I said in the previous video, seeing as how um, these weren't supposed to come until the beginning of January, I'm sure none of you were looking at these as Christmas presents. So there's that. Uh, I don't think they've shown up at brick and mortar U.S. retail yet. I, I, to be honest, most retailers are trying to get rid of the stock they already have and not worry about new stock. So yeah, that's and I. With that being said, that's about it. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. As I always say, I do appreciate the views, but the likes, comments, and subscriptions do help with the algorithms and promoting the channel. Uh, this has been a very odd time, whereas the first releases of United have become my most viewed videos of the year, and I do have many new subscribers. I'm going to talk about that in the vlog in a day or so, uh, just to you know make some points out. But uh, it, it's very important for you guys to keep engaging with the videos, even if other people have reviewed them, because it really does help my channel, especially in times like this where... I'm competing against early reviewers who are getting samples of a conveyor belt. Remember, a lot of those toys are not the finished product. This is. This is what you'll get when you buy animated Bumblebee in hand. Um, uh, but with that being said, if you also want to make the ultimate sign of support, I do have a Patreon. It is www.patreon.com slash chuckdog1999. All I ask for is a dollar a month, $12 a year. No thrills, no tears, no special rewards. All you're doing is helping me help you to help me help you bring figures like Bumblebee to you, as well as keeping up the infrastructure of, cha of the channel. And that's going to be something we're going to have to talk about uh, in a vlog. Uh, you know, so just keep an eye out for that. But as I always say, I know it's the holidays, last minute Christmas shopping. Maybe you overdid it a little and the extra cash isn't there. That's fine. You take care of yourself and your family. I'll be all good. But 
should you find that after the holidays you have an extra couple bucks or 12 bucks laying around you know my patreon my patreon is not a bad place to put it and i really do appreciate it but as i always say patreon is just a cherry on top of an already generous sunday that sunday was built upon you guys supporting me for over 10 years engaging with my videos we've built a very nice community uh, over 5,000 subscribers now and while that doesn't seem like much each one has been earned by me and i really do appreciate it so thank you so much um if this is you know hopefully this isn't the last video uh you're gonna see from me or but if it's the last video you happen to watch merry christmas uh and i'll see you again real soon this is your old pal chuck for animated bumblebee we will see you next time